Hi, I'm Johan and welcome to our new Objective-C tutorial series. In this series, we're going to learn about Objective-C. I'm going to show you the basics and I'm going to teach you a little bit how Objective-C works under the hood. And this is actually going to be really interesting. So actually, by the end of this video, you will have written your first Objective-C uh, program. And at the end of this complete series, you will actually be able to understand Objective-C and actually read it. So Objective-C is a general purpose object-oriented programming language that adds Smalltalk style messaging to the C programming language. It, it was the primary programming language used by Apple for macOS and iOS development before Swift was introduced in 2014. Despite the rise of Swift, Objective-C remains important for understanding existing code bases, maintaining legacy support for uh, applications, and interface interfacing with older APIs. It's also a great language to learn for a deeper understanding of the foundation of macOS and iOS development. So Objective-C was created in, an early, in, in the early 1980s by Brad Cox and Tom Love. It was later adopted by Next, that was Steve Jobs' new company after he left Apple. And then Apple used Objective-C the moment when they acquired Next in 1996. That was also the time when Jobs came back. Objective-C became the main programming language for macOS and iOS development. The reasons why you actually should learn Objective-C. So, some key uses for Objective-C in 2024 are actually maintaining and updating legacy code bases, interfacing with older macOS and iOS APIs, and developing applications that actually require low-level C language features. And you're probably thinking, right? Yeah, but we all know Swift. Why should we learn Objective-C? Well, for me, in my life, I actually get hired to work on older legacy uh, applications that still use Objective-C, and they actually pay good money for it. So when you have a basic understanding of Objective-C and you can actually read it, uh, you can actually make more money. That's, that's how easy it is. To get started with Objective-C, we actually need Xcode. So let's actually open up Xcode. And what we're going to do, we'll go to Create New Project. We're going to take an iOS app. In this case, I'm going to call it Hello Objective-C 4 because I actually started this series like six times already, but there were, there were problems with my mic. So at the interface, we're going to take Storyboard instead of Swift UI. And the langu language we're going to change between Swift to Objective-C. We're not going to do a testing system, and we're also not going to do storage. So let's go to Next. I'm going to save it in my Objective-C folder. Let's Let's go here to the left side, and you actually see two different files. So you see the appdelegate.h and the appdelegate.m. So the h is actually the header file, and the m is actually the implementation file. So it's actually really nice and sorted. And it actually keeps also certain uh, information private from the implementation file as well. So it's actually a pretty nice way of coding. So when we go to the main in here, in here we actually have int main. And int main, that's actually the initial function. So this is actually the function that runs the whole application. And inside there, we also have the auto-release pool. And the auto-release pool is for memory purposes. So I'm going to explain all that in, in the next video. But now, so that we did actually did some coding, let's, let's actually write our first program. So what we're going to do, nslog, add, string, hello developers. Welcome to Objective C. So, and when we run this, oh, don't forget the semicolon. So, when we run this, we're gonna see a little print statement inside the console. And it's actually gonna say hello to you all. And we have to wait a few seconds till the simulator is uh, working. And yes, you can still use Objective C for, I for iOS 18 if you want to. Uh, iOS actually supports Objective-C and Swift and Swift UI, so it's actually pretty amazing. And while this is loading, um, it's also possible to use Swift UI of uh, Objective-C and Swift together, right? Uh, a lot of uh, frameworks from Apple are actually still written on Objective-C. So you actually interact with the APIs using Swift, but in the back it's still Objective-C. So theoretically you're still using Objective-C in every app you use, right? Or actually app you build. Okay, so as you can see, 
The console now says hello developers, welcome to Objective-C. So this is going to be the end of this video. This was just a small introduction in what we are going to do. In the next video, we are going to learn about the basic syntax of Objective-C and we're going to learn about the data types, so like strings, bools, uh, integers, and so on. So that's going to be interesting. Thank you for watching this first video, and I see you next time.